Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing some late fall crappy fishing. It's been like really, it's been freezing in the morning here. I'm literally right down the street from my house and it's a pond that I fished a couple of times, but never, never really hard. But I'm gonna give it like a hard whirl today. We're gonna to have a side imaging sonar scan view for you guys and a camera up there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna troll around with the Tarova and I'm gonna use side imaging to hopefully find schools of crappie. So this is just a, it's a, basically a flooded river uh, with a dam behind me, which I think they're messing with right now. So we actually might draw some current today. I got spot lock on now, I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna start trolling. And the reason I'm using the electric trolling motor is I can control my speed. And when I see fish, I can basically hit that spot lock and stop right there and cast right to those fish. And like always, I'm using my favorite little crappy jig. Um, I'll leave a link for that below and the crappy plastic, which is just like a little tiny paddle tail. If that doesn't work, I'll switch over to something like a smaller profile, like a grub tail or something like that. But I'm gonna be watching this side imaging sonar like a hawk. I'm gonna start recording that right now. And what we're gonna look for is little tiny dots basically. And I do know where there's some, I've caught some before like this late in the season, probably about a week or two before this. So let's see if we can get them. Uh, we might do a catch and cook. I'm also, if we really get onto them, I'm also gonna set up the jaw jacker with uh, basically an ice rod off the back of the boat. Just because I'm allowed to have two lines and a dead stick presentation and a casting presentation, you can't, you can't really beat that. So let's see if they're, let's see if they're around this morning. Let's see if we can get on them. And I might switch over to the gas motor eventually. I have to have the gas motor trimmed up a little bit because my sonar is in the way of that. So. We'll see, and I have caught crappy in like 60 feet of water here as well. So, see if we can get on them this morning. We also have a couple of fish right below us. Anything in that, that water column there means that there's fish. And so I can barely, I can't even see 100 feet since I'm so shallow right now. And they just lowered the lake down a little bit. So, not, a, not ideal from where I know before. But I can do sign imaging up to about three and a half miles, five miles an hour, I think is ideal. So there's some fish. So there are some fish that we just fought, found right below us. And let's put the motor in reverse, see if we can back over them. Right there's a fish, so we're in a spot lock. We got some suspended as well. And it doesn't hurt to just try to see if they're there. I mean, they might be off points, they might be off um, you know, who knows where they could be this time of year. Well, that's just mud on the bottom, that's crazy. So those are air bubbles, I hit the bottom, stirred the bottom up. That would be a fish right there. It's not very active yet. This is a better view, that way I can um, basically determine what I'm looking at here. And this also, it's a stuff in this lake. Whoa, there looks like a bunch of active fish. See, this is what happens. Spot lock again. So active fish will have arches and they won't be just flat lined. So we're spot locked again. Let's see if we can stay there. Roll oh, coming screaming up to it. Perch or crappie. Feels like a crappie. That's the species that we're looking for right there. A little bit tiny, only like a a few inches long, not even worth bumping, but back in he goes. Let's get down there again. Drop, drop, drop. And there's usually just, very rarely is there just one. Sometimes in the spring I've seen them just like lone wolves. Oh, he thumped it and I missed it. Thumped it and he missed it. And usually if you stick them, they'll uh, not be okay for a minute but then they'll come right back just like that. I'm in 25 feet of water. Can't tell that from the flash cam. Getting a little bit bigger, not giant. There seems to be a giant down there. This, <laughs> I'm literally 20 feet from the boat launch, maybe 100. Uh, this might be where I rig up the jaw jucker. We can get him with the dead stick. All right, let's uh, let's keep trying to find him here. We just got lucky on a couple of spots there.
There is a that's loaded right there. Holy crap, that's loaded. Let's set up the jaw jacker. Oh, I need a piece of break. So let's set up the jaw jacker in the back of the boat. I have a ton of fish below me right here. They don't seem very big, but I'm gonna set it up anyways because I think it'll be fun. And that way I can actively jig and actively have a dead stick. Be better if I had, you know, live bait like a worm or something like that on there, but there's definitely some active fish down there. So that's set up already. Let's bring the legs out. And right there's a good spot. Not exactly sure where that jig is. But fish bites it, it will go off. Came up and absolutely floored it. Hopefully you guys saw that. That feels like a bigger one. Yeah, that's a bigger crappie. Not not ginormous. Not what I really like, but that's okay. I think that jig was on the bottom, just not good. Not for the species, at least. Oh. Got him? No, I don't got him. Missed him, guys. Missed him. Don't bite it while I'm trying to set it. He bit it while I was trying to set it. Pull and drag. Oh, it's the biggest one of the day. Absolutely choked it. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Absolutely inhaled that jig guy. See that? That's all the way in there. Coming up hot. Coming up hot. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. Ah, oh, this is so much fun. Of all things, this is catching the big, smallest ones. Oh, we floored it and I was going down. So many fish on the screen. So each one of those is an individual fish. Why my jaw jacker hasn't gone off, I do not know. Ooh, seems like they want to chase today for some reason. Snagged or a bigger one, I'm not sure yet. Getting bigger. Getting bigger. They're not hitting the dead stick. Not really sure why. They're just feisty today. Look at them. Just look at them. Just, they're just fired up. Good old paper mouse. Oh. Is that a fish? Oh yeah, I got a fish on the jaw jacker. Not very big. That's okay. Jeez, this thing's like super long and skinny. It's crazy, but he ate it. He ate it, sure. You watch, biggest fish of the day is gonna come off the jaw jacker. Guarantee it almost. Light bite. But I'm literally using the same rod I use for lake trout and bass and everything else. It's an expensive rod, but it is super sensitive. I literally want to get the same one for ice fishing if they make it, but it's a Shimano X Pride. I really, really, really like it. And I don't, I don't really, really, really like a lot of rods. I really like this rod. All right, we're gonna mark this spot. I don't think there's anything specific about this spot, but we're gonna move to another spot. So there's a bunch of rock and stuff off to our left. That's always good. I'm gonna mark that. Oh, that would be a pot of crappy right there, right below me. Oh, there's some active fish right there. Let's see if how active they actually are. Oh, that's a mega school. Suspended, even better. Got two, three fish chasing me. Come on. Just about to say, Josh, don't miss it. Cause they are bigger crappy, for sure. That's 
Ooh. That's the size that we want right there. So suspended marks, 30 feet of water, just over 11 inches. And those are like perfect eater size, but we're gonna throw them back anyways. Oh, there's one. Could probably turn the drag up. It's pretty big. Not a giant. Oh, just got another one. Tiny, tiny. That's what I mean by tiny. We up hit it. I don't know how long he's been on there for, but he was on there. Tiny, tiny, tiny. But a crappie nonetheless. Got him. Got one on the jaw jacker too. Ooh, I missed him on the jaw jacker. Missed him on the jaw jacker, guys. That's a bummer. Tiny one. I think there's a fish. I don't want that rod too. He's on there. He's on there. Didn't miss him. He just went slack for a minute. Absolutely inhaled it. Just light, light biting it. But, so one of the reasons these guys like the bigger ones light bite is that they just got that bigger mouth. And I wish I could get a good video of them inhaling a jig because they just suck it in completely into their mouths into that little dump truck of a mouth there. Oh, I knew he was gonna be on there. <laughs> I knew he was gonna be on there. Fight him with the ice rod. Tiny, 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 tiny. Sharp shooting these guys like no tomorrow. Not very big. Oh, it's definitely one. Of them. Oh, missed it. Missed it again. That was an up hit. I can barely feel this in that little rod here. Up it and choked it. See, we got a couple more on the jaw jacker now. Yep, that's a nice one. Jeez. Crappy up to crappy. All right, guys, I think that's enough of uh, hammering little tiny crappy. This pond uh, just doesn't seem to have that larger quality crappy for some reason, or at least in the spots that I've been going. Hopefully I'll make it back here in ice fishing, but thank you very much for watching. The jaw jacker was a blast, actually. It'd be fun to have, you know, a couple people in the boat and set up a bunch of jaw jackers on one side and then jig on the other side you could absolutely hammer them. So thanks for watching.